So I want to do a little talk on birth control and its effect on the female body because not only have I not spoken about this very much in my other videos, it also is a topic that is not spoken about very much at all. For myself, for instance, I just went on online. I don't often go on Google for answers. It's not where I like to source any of my information anymore, but I just wanted to check out what's available to us because I know a lot of you are asking questions like, is birth control linked to polycystic ovarian syndrome or questions like, is birth control helping or hindering my body? I really don't know. We're having a little bit of information come out about things like, um, you know, we're noticing patterns in the female body of, you know, a lot of people who are getting sick of being on the contraceptive pill. And so we've got a little bit of information that's pointing to the fact that the contraceptive pill depletes B vitamins in the body, which we really need in order to remain healthy and strong. It also really depletes the gut. It really does on a long-term basis affect our fertil fertility levels, especially those of you in Australia, Europe, or America, I know that I was on this one, my hair's just doing something very funny today, that's okay. Um, I know a lot of us in like the Western countries, we are prescribed things like Diane, and what's the other name for it? Diane, Estelle, um, Yasmin. It's a really, really strong, concentrated, high level of uh, these hormones drug and we're actually only supposed to be on it for a couple of years maximum but a lot of us including myself are never told that information so I was on that drug for I was on that pill for eight years and so when I came off the pill which I'm going to speak about in a moment my body just completely fell apart so we are starting to gain more and more information about the depletion of B vitamins you know the havoc that it wreaks on the gut the long-term use really affects our fertility because it depletes us in zinc, selenium, magnesium, and folic acid. And these are all core like nutrients that we really need in order to be ovulating properly and being able to give birth and you know have strong fertility and reproductive organs. So aside from that, we've heard a lot of information about the MTHFR gene mutation gene, which is essentially like a gene mutation which inhibits your ability to detoxify. It inhibits your body's ability to detoxify itself effectively. So this uh, inherently means that toxicity is not able to leave your body properly and your body starts to kind of like build up and this is when we see lymphatic stagnation, this is when we see kidneys start to become really weak, all of the master glands start to become really weak, we see Hashimoto's because we've got you know the thyroid and the parathyroid become really weak and burdened because all of your master glands absorb toxicity in the body which affects your body and your mind and affects your moods and your state of being. So I was very ignorant when I was first, when I first came off the pill. I had no idea about health. I was still in my party girl phase. Um, although I had started losing my hair for about a year and no doctor could tell me anything about it. I was going to dermatologists. I was asking them if it's related to like the scalp dermatitis psoriasis that had shown up and the itching. I couldn't understand why I was losing so much hair because I had no idea about, you know, imbalanced hormones, about PCOS or any of these things. So every doctor that I saw said, you're on the best thing to be, you know, to prevent the hair loss, which is you're on Yasmin, you know, you're on the pill. That's really all you can do. And so I just remained on the contraceptive pill. <laughs> My hair's really distracting me. <gasps> it's okay, Sarah, just let it go. <laughs> so I just remained on the contraceptive pill but my hair starts, continues to fall out, continues to fall out. So intuitively about a month, four weeks before I moved from Sydney to New York City, I was like, I'm going to go off the pill. My sister sent me this article about something. I can't remember what it was and about how like the pills affecting the female body. I was like, screw this. I'm not doing this anymore. I know that there's really no other form of contraception I can go on because I had already heard horror stories on the IUD, on everything else that, you know, like women, 
women as women, I really feel for all of us because we really don't have many options. You know, even people with the copper IUD have so many problems with their fertility and with their period and with their hormones. So I was like, okay, well, I guess I'll just be really careful and I'll wear condoms and I'm going off the pill. So I knew nothing about coming off the pill strategically. And so I just threw it out, the packet out, and I felt really empowered and really like happy to do so. And everything was fine. And my period didn't come the next month. Um, I'd always had regular periods on the pill because the pill gives us like a fake period. You know, it's like a pseudo period. Sorry, I ran out of storage on my card. So I came off the pill and didn't have a period. And then I moved to New York. Everything was fine. My hair loss kind of stopped. My skin was clear, still partying a lot. And then six months into my journey of New York, my body completely fell apart and I still hadn't had a period. I went without a period for 14 months. And then after that, it was kind of like six months, three months. And then eventually I was able to bounce it and bring it back, which ultimately led to me, you know, ridding a lot of the symptoms, the polycystic ovarian syndrome symptoms had shown up, including the acne, the hair loss, the hirsutism, the weight gain, the hypoglycemia and all of those things. So... Since becoming a full-time coach and healer for women who are suffering with polycystic ovarian syndrome or any kind of hormonal imbalance, um, you know, syndrome disorder, you know, they're trying to come off the pill, you know, I've worked with hundreds of people thus far. Uh, I've got, you know, over 100 women in my program and I've worked with, I would say, you know, a, a few hundred women thus far with one-on-one -on -one coaching and I've started to notice a pattern and I want to bring this to light to all of you in this video because we don't have a lot of information available to us because okay so this is this may be quite a controversial video for some of you and I may get a lot of backlash and that's great because I need to keep on spreading a message that feels really true for me I have to keep on spreading you know the patterns that I'm seeing in my coaching because this is what is going to give us true sources of information because it's not just studies that are done and you know financed by big corporations who want to continue to sell pharmaceutical drugs like the contraceptive pill it's like we need real information that is measured upon the women who are actually facing these issues in their body around the world and so a pattern that I'm noticing is that the pill is highly detrimental to a lot of women's health so it's, it's something that really, it can appear like it's really helping us because it masks a lot of symptoms that are showing up in the body. And it certainly did that for me. But ultimately that led me into such a big health crisis that could have been unavoidable because it's like my body was completely suppressed on the pill. I could eat anything, I could drink anything, I could go out and like party all weekend and wake up on Sunday and go to brunch with no makeup on and my skin would be flawless, my period was every single month, you know, you would never even know something's up because the period is just like completely regulated on the pill and so, you know, when I came off the pill and suddenly I couldn't digest nuts or beans or grains or really anything for that matter and all my skin problems came up and all of these things, it's like all of those eight years on the pill of of just suppressing and treating my body like crap it's like suddenly it all came up and revealed itself and so the pill you know I'm going to be mentioning a couple of different things I'm noticing in patterns with all of my clients and students but the pill is like the biggest suppressor you know it really gets us out of touch with our body and more so you know the second point which brings me to like goosebumps and shivers all over my body the pill, the contraceptive pill, really disconnects us from our feminine energy. And I'm starting to notice more and more, and it's all starting to make sense. So to give you some background, I will work with women who message me saying, I really want to come off the pill, but I'm afraid. The first thing I say to them is, fantastic, thank you for reaching out to me. I made a huge mistake by throwing out my pill packet, knowing nothing about you know, the things I need to do and restore in my body for a few months prior to transitioning off the pill. So I appreciate when people join my program or come to me or start working on themselves by themselves before just going cold turkey, because we can never come cold turkey off the pill. It's not safe. So women come to me and they want to come off the pill. And so eventually, you know, we do the food protocol, we work on everything. And then what happens is eventually their intuition tells them, you know, it's not even really me telling them, okay, it's time to come off the pill because I'm not inside of their own body. So what happens is eventually 
their body tells them, okay, it's time to come off the pill. And they're like, they message me being like, it feels like it's time. I'm not going to take it anymore. I'm not going to reorder the next packet. So what happens next is they come off the pill and then they show up to the coaching calls and their personality has completely changed. When I spoke to them, when they were on the contraceptive pill, they were super in their masculine. They were really, and you know, this isn't just a pattern that I've noticed with one or two people, you know, it's like a good handful of people. They've had this same experience in which they come off the pill. And when they were taking their contraceptive pill, they were a lot more in their masculine energy. And then when they come off the pill, they're so much softer. They're really connected to their emotions. They're really like, oh, I'm feeling a bit sad today. Like the way that they speak, the way that their, their, their face looks, the way that they act, it's completely different. And it gives me total body shivers to start picking up on the pattern of the contraceptive pill is this thing that we're using to replace certain hormones in our body to either uh, prevent us from getting pregnant or to um, co course correct some symptoms that are showing up, such as like bad skin or hair loss or you know whatever it is that's showing up on your body that the doctor says okay we'll take this it'll fix it it's bringing it's kind of like it's messing with the natural order of things because everything has its rightful place in the body including all of your hormone levels all of your chemicals all of your vitamins so when we start to put like isolated concentrated amounts of anything in the body we start to really mess with that natural order and that includes things like you know taking concentrated amounts of any type of supplement because you know the body knows how to create all of these things when it's healthy strong vibrant but when it's stopped making the right levels of things, it's because there's some kind of internal stressor that has messed with the natural order of things inside of the body. And so what we what do we do? You know, we often just flood the body with supplements, isolated, concentrated amounts of these things, or we go on synthetic hormone replacement therapy, such as the contraceptive pill or spironolactone. And so when we start to put concentrated amounts of, you know, anything, including like progesterone, progesterone or whatever, it starts to really like mess with the natural flow of things. And so this is linked to I believe it's linked to polycystic ovarian syndrome. I believe it's linked to hormonal imbalance. I believe it's linked to why so many women on the planet right now are operating from their masculine energy more than their feminine energy. It is quite rare that I meet a woman, unless I'm in places like Thailand, Koh Phen Yang, Ubud, you know, these epicenters in the world where a lot of people are like really connected to their feminine energy. Uh, you know, if I'm in the West, when I'm around the women I know, they're super masculine. You know, they're really in the doing energy. What am I going to do today? How am I going to succeed? How am I going to make money? What do you want to do this weekend? You know, it's all like this really doing driven, you know, uh, structured energy. And it's not it's not so soft and like, oh, I just need to. I need to slow down. I really need to feel this body. And what do I feel like eating? You know, it's not about like following the next biggest diet or following like what diet's going to make my body look it look good. It's kind of like, how does this body feel and how can I nourish it and how can I connect with it and communicate with it? And so this is what the women who are connecting with me in my community are working on. And they're all, you know, really dropping into their feminine energy. And it's so beautiful to see. And so it's really important for me to alert you to the fact that if you are living that super masculine energy, you're facing hormonal imbalance symptoms and you have been or you are on the contraceptive pill, just notice the link between all of these things. Because, you know, when we start to look at why we went on the pill for the first place and why we actually decided to take this, it's like, we have to look at who, okay, so, you know, I don't, I don't mean to like push any kind of like agenda or like, you know, be super biased in this video. That's not really what my videos are about, but I know for a fact that the people who are pushing us towards the contraceptive pill are the people who want this really like masculine dominated world and really want women, you know, to be in their masculine energy. You know, it's like, it's kind of like we are operating. I mean, I don't mean to go into like the patriarchy and all of this stuff, but that really is the system and structure that we're living with on planet earth right now. It's super masculine orientated and it's super masculine dominated. And so now there's this drug, this contraceptive birth control pill 
pill that is being pushed on us, not only for contraceptive reasons, but more so just for like to manage the health of our body. And what we're seeing in return is that women are not only super sick, women are really disconnected from themselves. Women are really disconnected from their bodies. They're really disconnected from their emotions. And that's what we are. That's what the feminine is. The feminine isn't about pink nail polish and high heels and lipstick and long hair. That has nothing to do with the feminine, even though maybe those things are how you want to express yourself in a feminine way. The feminine energy is all about the chemical oxytocin. It's all about the bonding, connection, connection to your heart, connection to your emotion, connection to your body, connection to your intuition and connection to your innate wisdom and intelligence. You are so profoundly intuitive and intelligent. And, you know, if you're not feeling there and you're feeling really disconnected and you have been on long term use of the contraceptive pill, you can understand why. You can understand the suppression that's been happening inside of your system. So to answer your question, is the contraceptive pill linked to PCOS? I believe that it is. Um, not in the way that you may think, but I believe that the side effects that the pill is having on us and this like deep suppression and disconnection that's happening will lead someone into the depths of PCOS. Is birth control safe to be on? I'm not actually quite like I'm not certified and it's not legal for me to tell you what like what's safe and what's not and whether you should do this or that, you know, but what I can say is that I've noticed a pattern within my own practice that this thing, this specific drug is actually causing a lot more harm than good, even though it may mask and suppress symptoms and make it seem like they're going away. It's really only creating more detriment down below down deep under the surface that you really can't see what's going on. The final question is, should you come off the contraceptive pill? I believe that you should, although you absolutely need to do it smartly. You cannot just go cold turkey unless you've only been on it for a really short period of time and you intuitively feel like you're totally safe to do so. You know, that has to be your call. But for anyone else who is unsure, they're facing symptomology within their body, their period's a little bit out of whack, you have any kind of like, you know, cramps or, you know, intense mood swings, depression, anxiety, then you need to be cautious coming off this thing because it is a very strong and powerful drug inside of the body and so I believe that you need to you know for a minimum I think it's really safe for two or three months to go on a healing protocol in which you're changing your dietary needs you're replenishing all of your nutrient stores vitamins and minerals and you're really looking at going in and you know even if you're on the contraceptive pill that's totally okay as I said I was on it for over eight years and now I've come to a place in which I could <clears throat> I could totally heal my body, losing my voice. I could totally heal my body. So know that everything is always reversible, but simultaneously it's really important that you start going in and reconnecting and you know, go watch my video coming online. It's like reconnecting with this body and mind that has been like offline, suppressed, disconnected for all this time and start doing that work before you come off the pill. Because otherwise, like me, completely suppressed, autopilot, disconnected, you know, just numbing myself with food, with drugs, with alcohol, with partying, with validation, social media, with getting to the gym seven times a week and getting a banging body and feeling okay and safe and stable. It's like I was totally offline and disconnected. And then I got off the pill and then suddenly it's like, like everything's just kind of like was thrown in my face after about a six month period. And it was really intense and it was really brutal. And I would never want anyone to go through what I went through. So make sure you do it very safely. Make sure that you come off slowly and don't rush anything. Make sure that you adhere to a really healthy diet and actually start like a healing protocol of some kind for a couple of months, three months. And allow for your innate wisdom to come through and to tell you it's time to come off. Because a lot of women say to me, okay, I'm going to start working with you. I'm going to start your program. Can you please tell me when to come off? And it's like, okay, I can be the guiding light to reflect certain things to you, ask you questions and get some information. But it has to be like an inner knowing. It's time. 
and your body will give you that cue every single time. I've never met a woman who did not receive that cue eventually in which it's like, okay, I can transition off this thing and I can start to live, you know, a really natural, holistic, healthy life in which I'm not using any synthetic chemicals or drugs or anything to restore the health inside of this body because I know this body is so powerful and strong to create and regulate really beautiful health inside. And I know that maybe I just need to give that some time and it's all good and I can be patient with this body and I can just really love it and accept it along that journey. And I know everything will balance. I know I will get pregnant one day and my fertility will be fine. I know all of my symptoms will reverse. So I hope that this answered some questions that you may be having around birth control and whether you should stay on it and whether it's been affecting your body. Maybe you've had some aha moments. Maybe you've had some insights or downloads. And if you have, please leave them below and like this video so that we can share this with all of our sisters dealing with the same things that we're dealing with. Um, and yeah, leave any insights below so that I can, you know, take a look and I can start like adding this to my bank of research so that I can start putting out information, more information that's really going to help all of the women in the world start to really live connected in these beautiful, beautiful bodies.